channel if you're new here my name is Alyssa today I've got a really fun recipe video that shows some really easy ways to use ripe bananas I feel like for some reason during quarantine right now bananas and banana everything is all the rage so I wanted to share three easy banana recipes that are gluten-free healthy and give you like a few different ways to use them so we are making cookies we are making a mug cake and we are also making some muffins these recipes are not vegan, but, well, one of them is, but I will give you vegan options down in the description box if you wanna make vegan options. So all of these recipes are up on the blog for you already, and if you're ready to make them, you can just click those links right down below. And before we dive in, I would love to encourage you to subscribe and join our community here on YouTube if you are not yet part of our awesome tribe here. There's a red button right below this video that says subscribe. All you gotta do is tap that button. Otherwise, let's go ahead and dive in. So we're gonna kickstart things with a new breakfast cookie flavor. We are starting by adding a banana into a bowl. We're gonna just mash that up until it's mostly smooth. From there, you can add in your tahini. So yes, these are tahini breakfast cookies. If you don't like tahini, you can use any other nut or seed butter. We're also gonna add in some maple syrup, a flax egg, and a little bit of vanilla extract. You'll stir that together until you have a somewhat smooth batter type consistency. Then you'll add in some rolled oats as well as some cooked quinoa, a little bit of baking powder, and you could also add in some sea salt if you would like, just to kind of boost up the flavor a little bit. Stir that all together and you should start to get a cookie dough to form. The final step, which is optional, but I really find that it helps with the texture of the cookies, is to stir in a tablespoon of chia seeds. It just kind of helps everything like bind together a little bit better. Once you have that folded in, you can just transfer these cookies onto a baking sheet. I didn't have parchment paper, so I didn't line it with parchment paper, but I would recommend lining your cookie sheet with parchment paper. Scoop the cookie dough out and then gently flatten it to kind of form the cookies into perfect shapes with your hands. And then we will bake these at 350 degrees until they are golden brown. And I really recommend that you let these cool completely because they're pretty delicate when they come out of the oven, but as they kind of sit and cool, they start to firm up and they get that really nice breakfast cookie texture. So that is number one on our ways to use bananas. Number two is going to be my new favorite muffin, which is coconut flour muffins. We're gonna add our mashed banana into a bowl along with some eggs. We're also gonna use some maple syrup, a little bit of olive oil, and some apple cider vinegar. You could also stir in some vanilla extract if you wanted. Stir that together until it's combined, and then we'll add in our dry ingredients, which is just coconut flour, arrowroot starch, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and sea salt. Fold that together and it will feel like the dough or batter is kind of really wet, but coconut flour is incredibly absorbent, so the more you stir it in, the more thick it's going to get. So as it kind of gets combined, the coconut flour will absorb some of the liquid and you'll start to get that nice muffin batter. Once you have that batter, you can fold in any mixins that you want. This is totally optional. I love folding in walnuts or pecans or coconut or even chocolate chips. I did walnuts because that's what I had today, but you can either skip this step or do whatever you'd like. We'll then transfer this batter into greased muffin tins. I actually find that these work the best with paper liners, so if you have those, use those. I don't have them. But just fill them about all the way full so that they kind of fill up. This recipe makes 10 muffins, and you can sprinkle them with walnuts or whatever mixins you're using just to make them look pretty. Then you will bake these at 350 degrees for about 22 to 23 minutes, and they look like this, golden brown, nice and pretty and fluffy, and I just wanna show you the inside. It is like gorgeous. They are so, so, so good. So to serve, I am always going for coconut yogurt. You guys know me, so I did a dollop of coconut yogurt. Also really delicious with a drizzle of your favorite nut butter or good just as is. And I just think that these are just such the most delicious little muffin, and I can't wait for you guys to try them. They are so good. Last but not least, we are gonna make a chocolate banana mug cake. So we're gonna add a banana into a bowl. Again, mash it up, just like we did with our other two recipes. 
Once you have it mashed up, you can add in your egg, maple syrup, almond milk, and if you wanted to, you could also add a little vanilla. And you can just whisk this together or stir it together until it's all smooth and the egg has kind of beaten down and yeah, it's smooth. Then you will add in your quinoa flour, oat flour, cacao powder, baking powder, and you could do a little sea salt if you wanted to add some flavor. Stir this together until it has formed a batter. And then we will finish things off by folding in some chocolate chunks. That's optional, but really good, highly recommend. This recipe makes two mug cakes, so you're gonna have two microwave safe or oven safe mugs. Spray them with cooking spray and just divide this batter between the two mugs. You'll pop these in the microwave, if you have a microwave, for about 60 seconds. And if they don't seem like they've cooked all the way through yet, pop them in for another like 30 seconds or so. I haven't tested these in the oven, but they should work at like 350 degrees for maybe about 15 minutes or so. Again, I haven't tested, so I'm not entirely sure. But once they are done and cooked, you can just flip them out onto a plate and they look kind of like a chocolate lava cake. They also kind of taste like one. I again topped it with some coconut yogurt, sprinkled on some chocolate chunks, and that's it. These are decadent, they are soft and moist and just so good. And it's just like a really fun, kind of quick and easy treat. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's banana recipes video. I personally am a huge banana fan. I know that some people either A, don't like the flavor of banana or are allergic to banana. If that is the case for you, I think, now I haven't tested, but I think you could substitute the banana in these recipes with another fruit puree. So something maybe like sweet potato puree, applesauce, pear puree or pear butter. Um, maybe you could use pumpkin, although pumpkin isn't quite as sweet as banana. But either way, I do think there are some options. If you have any specific questions, you could drop those down below for me and I will try to give you substitution ideas. Um, otherwise, if you do wanna make them, they're on the blog for you already. So all of the recipe links are right down below this video as always. I've also linked some helpful products, whether it's the muffin tin or anything like that. So those are all down below for you as well. If you are not yet part of our community here on YouTube and you would like to subscribe and join us, I would obviously love to have you. The more the merrier. There is a red button right below this video. You can just tap that button. It says subscribe and that will subscribe you. Otherwise, if you have any other recipe videos that you'd like to see, maybe you have an ingredient lying around that you're like, what the heck do I do with this? If that's the case, drop those down in the comments as well. I always love to get your feedback and suggestions. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.